For years, there weren't earthquakes in Oklahoma to any substantial quantity, and then they started increasing, and people were scratching their heads, wondering what's going on here. Oklahoma had a history where you might have two earthquakes a year that were 3.0 on the scale or larger. We were having that many per day. The growing body of evidence tells us that fracking is a danger to our water supply, to the air we breathe, and can cause lung cancer. It has resulted in more earthquakes, and it is contributing to climate change. My property has eight fracking wells within a mile, and there's lots of earthquakes. If I'm there longer than 20, 30 minutes on my property, my throat shuts down, I can't breathe. This paradigm that says we have to choose industry over you know, the environment or the environment over industry is the old way of thinking. The Republican administrations, the past two and the one now, are doing their best to run wind and solar energy out of the state. They don't like clean, high-paying jobs in Oklahoma. This is a wind and solar state, and we could power everything that way. I'd like to see uh, someone put in charge of the EPA by a new president, hopefully President Sanders, and put somebody in charge of the EPA that's going to be environmentally friendly instead of someone like we had from Oklahoma, that Scott Pruitt. Scott Pruitt. The guy was horrible. I think we have to ban fracking now. Now is the time to end fracking in this country. Bernie is the best for Oklahoma because he doesn't have a hidden agenda. He's not wishy-washy on an issue. He doesn't leave you guessing about where he stands on fracking, about where he stands on clean water. Climate change is our number one issue. Everything else pales behind climate change. We don't have any time. We are out of time. We have to do it now. He's the only candidate that will.